fears. I'm starting to slip off the edge here. All right, here comes the rest of the crew. Oh yeah, these are some good old school Jeeps here. Look at that. Now, we're gonna be willing with this baby today. LS1 back in the Jeepster. He doesn't need a coat. He ain't got no meat on his bones. <laughs> All right, we're all unloaded here in Georgetown. Pretty good lineup. All right, here we go. Well, that's our first test. Can we even make it up this hill? <laughs> oh, shoot, I don't know. Am I in four-wheel drive? Says I'm in too high. Why would I say I'm in too high? Couldn't figure out why my back end kept kicking out. <laughs> the colon cushion. <laughs> Keep your colon intact. Right. Well, not mine. <laughs> Mine's just fine right now. <laughs> Looks like we're backing up a little bit. I'm not quite sure what we've got going on yet, but people are starting to hop out. So maybe somebody slid off the road right here. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> the same drop. Oh nice. Work it. Just drive out of there. <laughs> well the good news is he won't crab sideways too much farther because they'll rest against it's that tree. Level <laughs> 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 Did you walk on that right side? Yeah. It's just skating, huh? Yeah. There's no traction. Hey, don't scratch my paint. <laughs> hey, we'll stay away. <laughs> Mine's a little narrower than yours. I can fit by better. <laughs> that was a fun little mishap. Little XJ slid off the road up here a little bit, tried to winch him out. Winch is pulling him into a tree, so they just kind of backed up a little bit farther, gave her the whiskey, and boom, got back up on the road. But right where they slid off, I'm going to keep a little bit high because they tore up the side of the road a little bit. It's going to make it a little bit easier to slide off there, so. Alright, let's see if we can do the next one in the drink. Keep her high. Woohoo! Oh! Well, in some of these places, we got some good ruts that are just keeping us right on track. I know the whiskey throttle right here. Woo! Whiskey throttle. Down the road. Made it up a lot easier than I did. Oh shoot. Mm -hmm. 
We going up that? Well, this might be the end of the road for me. Well, that's all I can expect to do. Shoot, I guess I'm going to have to try because they're doing it. It looks like he's coming down. I wonder if he's going to give it another run. If he doesn't give it a run, I'll just follow him out. But I bet he gives it another run here as soon as he gets some good moment, get place where he can get some good momentum. But that's that same spot that we were watching that other rig get stuck. I think if you can get past that, But the name of the game is Momentum. So I don't know if he's going to try it again or not. But no one, Tim, I bet he does. Turn around right there. <laughs> Can't go that way. <laughs> go every way. No, it looks like he's turning around, so. There you go. And if that'll work, it's a free order. Dude, that's deep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> it still works. <laughs> and I'd rather have a big Jeep. It's a Just three yell eight. at me. That's exactly what I've got. I'll do my best. <laughs> Just keep going until it sounds expensive. They <laughs> should call it the CJ3. Stay on the side of it because I've worked it for you. It's like right there. Right. 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 Where's that air compression? Like the right handle stuff is not just like a you know. That's what I just asked. Like a half inch extension. Yeah. There you go. That's, That's what exactly. I'm used to using. Exactly. Oh, shit. That license is way more. I know. Oh, I'm so sorry about your license. Oh, gone. <laughs> is that as far as we That's go with this thing? Probably as far as that jack will go. We can get that jack out. Too. All right. That'll move on. Yeah, that all right. All right. You guys are down town. Yeah. Oh, there it is. You got it out now. Yeah. Where do you get a jack like that, Tim? Brennan's garage. I need Got one comes. of those. Yeah. 
I think you're close. There you go. Oh, We're going to be on TV, aren't we? Maybe. Well, on the YouTube, probably. <laughs> Good enough for me. Nice. There, there it is. That popped. All right. I like that sound. I don't know how much you want in there, but. Good. Well, you'll bike tire. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> don't squish too much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Come on, come on. David Williams. David Williams. Remind me your name. Isaiah Whitworth. Fears. I'm starting to slip off the ice, off the edge here. See, really can't see, but I'm slipping off the road. There's a, there's a lot of trees and stuff where I can be stuck and wrecked really bad. Did you hit a tree? No, not yet. Okay, good. I don't know that light. All right, let me tell you about a story. I wasn't able to film this because obviously. It was happening to me and I was in the moment and I knew I'm like, oh man, I wish there was a camera guy like filming this for me. And so maybe I want to get a cameraman, but let me show you right here. I started going up this hill and I was all locked up all fours and didn't think about it. And the back end, because it was locked, was spinning equally and caused some slickness and my back end just whoosh, slid right off the road. Let me show you how I almost ended up out in the trees. This, his back end will continue to slide a little bit. Look out, so this was this was my tail end. My front was here, my tail end slid, and I'm just like sideways crab walking up here, and I'm just barely missing trees, and we actually had to cut down a tree. I winched, luckily I put that come up winch on, and I winched up out, and then as soon, you can see how long I was almost thinking I was gonna end up down the, down in the drink, and I'm like, how am I gonna explain this to my beautiful bride? And I'm glad, as much as I wish she were here today, I'm so glad that she didn't make it. See, I was all the way just chewing up the snow. And then we got right there. And see that cute little tree? I hooked a winch on, got straight, and got up. And I'm like, yes, we're totally going to make it. And then I slid off again right here. And then finally we winched back up. And I was able to back back down. And I had to back back down because the rest of the crew had already gone to the top of the mountain, turned around, we're coming back. And now we've got Tim. He just helped guide me down off the mountain. Looks funner than nothing. <laughs> so I'm running right here trying to catch up and all the while I'm trying not to slip and fall on my face while running a camera. She's gonna hit a tree.
boy, I am sure glad I took the time to put a winch on this before I came out here. Oh, come on. Well, down in the rut. And luckily, Rusty and RJ and his group of buddies, oh, they did such a good job. And they're so kind. I'm sure they're giggling about the gladiator that couldn't make it, but they were they were really kind and helpful and i really appreciate tim and all his help and friendship and everything that he did to to get me out here on the trail and though this video is not sponsored by anybody i do need to thank come up winch that i've got this winch and i was able to get it on because it it did it saved the day it worked flawlessly so thank you come up winch record I guess everybody's going this way. I just want to take a second to thank March for dropping a little bit of snow. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got this snow wheeling video out this year. Anyway, thank you, March. Thank you, Snow. And thank you for joining us for this episode of Wheeling with Friends. Remember, don't just live life. Live epic. We'll see you next time. Well, you can see right where these tires just throw the snow right onto this fender right here. So here I am just trying to make a dumb video about... Can't see a thing.